Hey guys, CatchJitsu.com or Learn MMA and Catch Jitsu. I uh, got a couple pages going trying to re-up all the combat system.com guys. Thanks. Going over the takedown drill you should do for all your classes, whether it's grappling, MMA, or whatever. Uh, six basic takedowns, do, an, do, an, do them on both sides, so you're doing 12 takedowns. Should be able to hit it in probably about three minutes, three and a half minutes, something like that. Um, and that gives you all your kind of main takedowns before you drill doubles and single legs or whatever else you're going to drill takedown wise. So, action reaction is the key in wrestling, judo, whatever. Action reaction. So, we're going to do six two to the outside, two to the inside of the leg, two to the outside. So, the first one's a back heel trip on the outside. So, I got over under position here on Steve, and we're moving around. You need the same pressure I'll give you, Steve. Yeah. Push, push it, give me the same pressure I did. Yeah. And down. Okay? Biomechanically lifting that shoulder and turning them down. Then I do the other side. Move around, over under position. Okay? So back heel trip. Plant the foot, shoulder up and down. I have a separate video on how to do it. The next one would be pummeling in for outside leg trip. Pummel in, fly the elbows up, chop down low on the butt, heavy chest pressure, outside leg hook. Fall down, boom, trying to get out. Arms wide like Spider Man. And we go on the other side again. Here, moving around. Pump in, fly up. And I can't play on push that knee and get out. When he bounces on the mat, he'll be trying to get half guard. He used to palm strike using the reverberation to bounce off the mat. Try and get out. Sometimes you don't. That's okay. <clears throat> so there's your two outside. Now we're going to go inside. Ochigari. Uh, inside trip, judo style I'm going to do it, uh, Kira Shoji style, he used to do it to all the huge giants in pride. Um, you can do a wrestling style lower on the leg if you want, but it hurts my, my knee to do that. Um, and then after that would be Uchimata. So first up, over under with a high under hook. I'm going to pull him and make him take a big step. Pull him and make him take a big step, and before it slides on the ground, I'm going to hook inside it, then fall top of him, train get bicep control and posture. Okay. Other side, over under, high under. Action reaction. Drive in, he drives back. Keep my pressure, Steve. Drive back. Drive back in. No, you're not. Don't let me move you around. Drive back in. Drive in. Drive. Give me pressure. Okay, my foot control. Pressure here. Okay. Then Uchimata. Uchimata you can do from Overhook or underhook. I'll do high underhook here. Got my underhook, high underhook, head position, wrist control or bicep control. We're moving around here. Okay? He drives back into me. Okay? So, kick up high on the leg. Step in. One, two, three, kick up. There's your Uchimata with a high uh, overhook. I like a uh, high underhook. Head position. I like this one off the cage as well. You can also do it as a counter with the overhook. So other side I'll do with the overhook. I'm in here, he's wrestling into me. I'm stopping his takedown and stuff, the overhook. If he gives you too much energy, drive him. Give me my pressure, drive him. Give me my pressure, drive him. Okay. So action, reaction. That's four. Outside, outside, inside, inside, outside, outside. <coughs> Next is from collar tie and elbow wrestling. I'm gonna hit a resting duck cutter to a standing arm triangle and finish it on the ground. So we got here, collar tie, collar tie, C grip elbow, action reaction. I drive in, he drives back. I drive in, when he goes to drive back, boom, it helps him fall down. See that? Action reaction. Wait for him to push back in so he falls over. Okay, one more time. Here, I drive in, he drives back. I drive in, he drives back. Bam, standing arm triangle here, lock it up tight. Tight, and I'm going to also guard this leg, pull him off balance, and sweep up the leg, off, and get right in. Move all your feet, put your arm triangle. Whether you keep this dirt, or you want to go rear naked choke style, it's up to you. Other side, all right. Action, reaction. You drive in, I drive in. You drive in, boom. Here, now I got to pull him off balance. Turn him this way, boom, fall down. Okay. Last one is over under judo style adapted to Nogi Neo Judo. 
Osoto guy, if I can stay standing, he's pretty heavy, so sometimes he pulls me down with him. But if you can stay standing or jump right back up, you can go to the biomechanical armbar, the BMAC armbar that I made up, dual submission, choke him with the feet, and get the armbar raising that shoulder. So, over under, here, you drive down, head drive in, you drive back, and you press it. Like we're really going, press it. Press it. Bam, here, I got my feet choking his arteries. And I got the armbar raising his shoulder. I have a separate video on this. Dual submission style. Inside, Ooh, over under. So there is your six takedowns we want to bolt tonight. That's 12. Then, of course, if you want to drill a few double legs and single legs, you should. Hope you enjoyed it. Please sub to my pages. Thank you very much, and I will catch you on the flip side. It's a Wolfman thing. Cheers.